All right, guys, this is DJ Wolf. Of course, the podcast here is DJ Wolf Live on YouTube. Um, this one, <clears throat> I'm going to have to talk about. And I'm going to have to post this on YouTube because it's something I do believe. Um, it's uh, uh, the belief about how women, especially women nowadays, use their uh, uh, food chain ladder as you will to get into the relationships I mean not the relationship but the status they want through certain men usually <clears throat> it's the first stance with the first guy they had to have had a bit the baby with now this ain't nobody else's take but my own from what I've seen and from personal experiences that guy or the nice guy usually is the one that you try to have the baby with because you know it's almost guaranteed that he's going to be the one to help you take care of that baby whether it's his or not or whether you're going to tell the truth about it or not <clears throat> that's number one because you want to build your income based on part of that and then women do it every day I see it all the time I see it all the time you know and then the next one, <clears throat> like in the case of uh, Sierra and uh, Russell Wilson, she had the baby by Future. Okay. Future didn't move on, had babies with other women. Another story. But in any case, she get a nice guy, Russell Wilson, who had been married before. Who uh, His first wife, they said, was known for running around, too, on him. She cheated on him. That's what I heard. I don't know how true it is. But that's that that's I don't know if that's facts or not, but that's what I heard. I can't substantiate it, so that's alleged. So <clears throat> but we do know that, that for a fact Future did marry Sierra with a child that wasn't his. That was by future I mean not future, I'm sorry. Russell Wilson married Sierra with a uh, with a child by future. That wasn't Russell Wilson's child, but he accepted it. And that's okay. You accept it, that's on you. And then she, uh, then they eventually had two more kids uh, that he had with her, or she had with him. Uh, so she already got that side money from, uh, I'm assuming, child support for future. I don't know if she did or not. Then she got Russell with, with two other kids. You know, not it's not a great example. It's somewhat of an example of how women um, <clears throat> try to move up the food chain. But here's the thing. A woman like her, who does that kind of stuff, is never going to change. They are never, never, never going to change. You know why? They're a creature of their own habit. Sierra was talking about, all oh, getting releases and all that, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, she went back to doing the same thing she was already doing. Creature habit. And recently, we'll, we'll keep, keep on, but she got a nice guy. She just ha ha got a nice guy. With the baby, <clears throat> and she knew that guy w who you know wasn't you know as financially stable as she was. She knew that, you know, she was okay with that. <clears throat> but she wanted the tangible. The tangible she got was the baby. Now, guess what she's doing now? She's making a move on to the next guy, the next guy who she think gonna take, help take her to the next level. See, she already has a career. Okay, we know she's an actress. She's been in movies for a long time. She has she's been on I know she's on has her own game show. Um I think she's on another one. But anyway. In any case, uh she's not an A-list celebrity, let's be real. She talked like she is, though. You know, but she has very uh masculine tendencies about her. She's and I heard that she's in the women. If that is 100% true, then that don't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me if it, 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 even if it wasn't true, because I, I, I kind of believe she might have been, but I can't sustain that, you know. But I haven't seen her with any women, but it wouldn't be surprising if, if she was with women. That don't surprise me at all. Not for one bit. Now, <clears throat> saying that, like I said, the masculine tendency she got, she's very boisterous, you know, She's been like that for a while, you know. 
for me personally, as a guy who 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 who, 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 who like I said, if I was single and want to smash her, that's all I would be about smashing. I ain't trying to wife her up. You couldn't wife a girl like her up anyway, and nor should you want to, or make her the mother of your baby. She's too damn boisterous. She's real loud. You know, she got a movie I think called Big Boss is coming out. I don't know when it's coming out, but she referred to herself in her uh, Twitter as Big Boss. See, there you go. Masculine tendency. You know, she has those, those uh, masculine tendencies of, of a guy. And she's stepping a little bit out of bounds as far as I'm concerned. And I know some people ain't going to agree with it, but I don't care. This is my opinion. This is my podcast and this is my channel and like i always say it's for all to hear baby and that's the kind of energy that you have with a uh uh jay finger smell you know or the uh or the nba player Except Curry's wife, at least Curry. She another one. You know, she so wants to be in the spotlight. I'm like, why are you so hungry to be in the spotlight? First of all, and foremost, you're the wife of Stephen uh, Steph Curry. What make you have to be famous? Just enjoy the life. No, for her, that's not good enough. She has to be famous like him. For what? I have no idea. You know, you're the baller of a famous NBA player. Why do you need to be as famous as him? Makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. Because she wants the attention. Steph Curry, apparently, and she's kind of talked about it in some language. I've heard her. It's a weird conversation. But I don't get it. She wants the same attention he's getting with women that she wants to get with men. She kind of admitted to that. That's a jealousy factor. You know, he's on the road a lot. You know, but that's what you married. But he's bringing home the bacon. <clears throat> you know, he's basically giving you what you want. And it ain't good enough. You know? And that's the problem with our women today. Women today just aren't happy with good enough. <clears throat> they ain't happy with a decent home and a good husband, a good man. It's never enough anymore. It's not. Yeah, what is all backed up today? What's going on here? It, it, it just it's just the weirdest economy, man. For real. I just I just I just shake my freaking head. I knew I should have left earlier. It's just I I, I don't I, I just I kind of don't get it anymore for real I really don't get it I don't get it at all you know but for some reason anymore it's just not enough it ain't enough I'm not sure why but it's not you know <laughs> I mean I take that back I know why because with the women today are more aggressive. You know, just having a decent life and home life ain't enough. You know, they want all the freedoms of doing everything as a single woman, being a married woman. There are a lot of women like that. <clears throat> Meanwhile, single women, at some point, they age out the game of the single life. And then they want a good man after all the stuff and mess and doing and got the little wild time out there had all these kids and now they want a husband some of them never get husbands which i think is even weirder you know but you got these kids out here you can't control because you don't have discipline in the home and i know some of you are gonna say well i got discipline mom. no you don't if you're a single mother and i've seen a lot of them and most of the single mothers i know have kids that they cannot discipline that's even girls Yes, indeed, folks. I said it. Y'all single mothers, the majority of you can't control the kids in your household by yourself. That's a lie. That's the biggest misnomer I've ever heard. That single mothers can raise a man, a boy to be a man, just as good as a man. And that's the biggest lie I ever told. I had to cut somebody out about that one time. Literally. 
because it's an absolute lie. It's never been proven to be true. Just because the young man made it through life uh, don't mean they didn't have issues. I can point out several NFL players in that, in that, in that, in that, in that, in that setup. And I challenge anybody to that because it's 100% true. It's 100% true. The majority of these NFL players who grew up without fathers do have issues. And some of them, uh, a number of the issues do involve dealing with the mama drama because the mama's like, oh, you know, I can't, I'm a young man, Joe man. You know? And even with the mothers, if they get a, a in some cases, what I've seen with the, uh, so the, those uh, players' sons bought the mama a house, guess what they try, guess what the mama say? It ain't enough. I'm, I need more. I've seen situations like that. You know? It ain't never enough. Hell, in my, own, in my own situation, for my own mom, you know, I've sent her money, you know, for certain things, and then she tell me next month, month, oh, I need something else for this. And then I ask her, okay, well, send me a copy of the receipt. I'll help you out. And she told me, I'm not going to send it to you. I said, okay, well, I can't help you then. And then you know what she said? Oh, yeah, that dad with your dad. Yeah, my, you know, oh, I would have done that for my dad, but not for her. But the thing of it was, you said you had a bill. So if you want me to send this much money for a bill, you need to send me a receipt so I can actually validate what it is I'm, I'm paying for. <laughs> you know, if I'm paying for it, you care. That's a you know, it just it's, it, you know, it's just it's ridiculous. It, it, it it's truly, truly, damn ridiculous. It really is, folks. This is why a lot of these guys go out. Uh, uh, you hear about the passport bros? This is exactly why, folks. This is exactly why. Y'all never, y'all ain't gonna understand it. This is why. This is why, my my my, my friends. Because you ain't gonna understand the situation about uh, black men tired of women's BS. Black women BS. We tired of it. We are absolutely one hundred percent tired of this of the bullshit. We are and have every right to. But y'all don't think we do. Women, they don't think we do. We don't think we have the right to be mad. And I'm like, really? Oh, really? We don't have to be right to be mad of the BS that y'all been playing on us for years and years and years. But you can go out there and do what you want and not be questioned about it. That's the irony of the whole situation. Oh, y'all yeah, I mean leave because y'all weak. Y'all can't handle a true, true, strong black woman. How you strong? You got four, five kids in the house. So you can't control two of them. Oh, you can't control a, 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 a four of them. You know? Just saying. That's wrong? No, it ain't. That's you trying to uplift yourself on a, on a false narrative. I've seen it all the time about now older and younger women. And some of the older women just bad as the young women anymore. You try to read a false narrative, and then you ain't telling them these young girls the truth about what they really need to know. Yeah, you tell them like, I, and I had an example. <coughs> Somebody told 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 um, my mother told my son that you know he was he, he did well one time he did a girl that uh, he met that had kids, and she told him straight up, "Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that." Really? But then you ain't telling these young girls, "Hey, you gotta get yourself together and uh, stop having all these kids, and or not have any kids until you get married." They ain't telling them to be a traditional. These women, the old women, they ain't doing that. They're not doing that at all. I gotta get over. They're not even doing that. They don't care. They don't even care. Folks, they don't care. This is why we had that problem. This is why you got the Kiki Palmers, the Ashley uh Curries, the Jada Pinkett Smiths, you know, the Sierras. This is supposed to be women, in some respect, uh, Beyonce's. You know, Beyonce's married. She's married to a very extremely high dollar value man. You know, the issue ain't about you have to marry a high dollar value man, but you want to marry a man of standard, whether he's a very high dollar value man or not. That's what Kevin Samuels tried to teach people for years and years and years. He tried to tell y'all that it wasn't us about high dollar value man. 
But you had went on there to my how can I get a dollar, high dollar fame man? And he tell you the truth. Get your act together. You can't think you gonna get a high dollar value man uh, 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 off of you being a peanut butter and, and cheese and crackers sandwich woman. That ain't gonna happen. No, never. Y'all need a dose of reality. But the problem is your own your own older elder mothers and, and cousins and sisters and aunties won't do it. They, give, they, 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 they just get the loser or won't say anything. I don't see nothing wrong with that. When it's everything wrong with you. Everything and more. You know? It's, it's the most ridiculous thing ever. To me personally. It really is. It's, it's just ridiculous. And sometimes I have to shake my head on that mess. It's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Ridiculous as fuck. See my friends. It really, it really is, man. It's ridiculous. You know? Because people aren't serious about it no more. They're not. You know? But black men, we get we get checked on everything we do, and I, and, I, and I, that's one one really want to talk. About. We get checked, no matter what we do, good or bad. If we do good and we're a nice guy, I don't like nice guys. Y'all boring. Y'all ain't no challenge. If we do shit, we bad. We get challenged. I mean, we um, um we get thrown in the bus. It don't matter. If we make a mistake, we get thrown in the bus. It don't matter. When you're a black woman. You make one oops. Or they, or they call it oops. I don't know why. That's okay. You make three, four, five. It's still okay. Why well, you men, men? These men ain't no good. Men, all men ain't no good. Men, they all they do is get women pregnant. Okay. Not the concept of the women letting the guys get them pregnant. It's not the problem. It's the problem of men getting women pregnant. Men are going to do what only what the women gonna let them do in most cases. Now I'm talking about outside of the other things that's wrong. I'm talking about, but in normal circumstances, you know, normal consensual relationships, men are only going to do what the women allow them to do. Let's be real. But y'all don't want to be. You want to pay a false narrative that replies to all men because the woman who didn't meet the right guys or messed around with 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 Tom, Dick, and Harry guy type guys who ain't who or uh, you know dusty dudes uh, didn't make the right choices, and that's just to make up for what the wrong what they messed up on. By making the wrong choices and you blame it on everybody else because you didn't make the right choice yeah that's exactly what that is and you know it you know it is but no mm -mm, i can't accept that when i'm wrong i can't accept anything <clears throat> that i did and own it nope can't do that and there lies the problem right there that's the problem Problem ain't, ain't the men getting the women pregnant. The problem is the women make the bad choices. You know. Now, if you're in a relationship where guys uh, get you pregnant and y'all, uh, and, and even with that, but I'm not even say that. You know, why would you let a guy get you pregnant before you get married anyway? That's number one. Because you made the same choice he made. So therefore, if you're making the same choice, bad choices he making, then you're responsible too. You're even more responsible. And you know why? Because you get to make the choice whether you're going to keep the baby first or not. Hmm. Hmm. What a thought. Because y'all know I'm right. That's absolute fact. Not cap, but fact. The difference is you have to be the one to accept the reality of what you got yourself into. A lot of y'all don't want to do that. A lot of y'all just want to coast by and tell about God got my back and, you know, God gave me. Okay, that's all well and good, but you have to accept that you made the mistake that allowed God to forgive you for it. You know? It, it's a two-way streak. Okay, you made a mistake. God forgave you. Now own up to what you did so you never make that mistake twice. See if you do that. Doubt it, but see if you do that. Mm-hmm. Many of you won't. 
Why take me long to go find him? That next mom is gonna go the other way. <coughs> but that's real talk though. Y'all don't like to own up. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all don't like to own up to to, uh, to your own mistakes. See, my thing is, when you start owning up to your mistakes, I start respecting some of y'all more. But these young young women, they don't care. Um, we hadn't even scratched the surface. Include that, and this includes by some of y'all other women out here who's so ratchet. Y'all talking about busting a b hole and all the other stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, WAP, all this stuff. One of them happened to be a baby mom with two kids. And got that stuff out there on record. And this is stuff you try to inspire the future young black women to be to. You know, and that's a fun thing. I got a granddaughter now. I'm a grandfather. So um that's what also bothers me because I know my granddaughter's gonna grow up in, a, in, 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 in and I'm hoping she don't well, I'm hoping she do. Uh have her parents ground her on the things that she need to know on the things she need to do and don't do you know because our kids today is being exposed by too much of this bad behavior by some of these rappers both men and women but right now I'm focusing on the women because y'all supposed to set example for your future sisters daughters granddaughters what have you and y'all not doing a good job at all you're not. You're doing a terrible job, if you ask me. A very, very, very terrible job. That been knows it's not good. It's not healthy for your for your grandkids. It's not healthy for your kids now. Period. To see this kind of debauchery, and that's just like the women. Uh, remember they do one do a whole documentary about, and I don't know if they ever put it out. And they should have. They should have just did it anyway. About uh, uh, Freaknik. The history of Freaknik. From back in the day. I never actually went to Freaknik. I actually, I take that back. I went to one. Uh, I, I went to Virginia Beach uh, years ago when they had Freaknik down there. And I, um, I didn't get to stick around for about half a day and I left. Because we couldn't find a hotel. They were booking up all the hotels and the ones they had. Uh, white folks wouldn't let black, some black folks stay in them. So we just left. That's another the whole story. Um, but nevertheless, uh, I, uh, <sighs> I almost I to lose my chain of thought. Y'all uh, do the most where you need to not be doing that on the music videos, knowing gir young girls I'd be out here watching that, imitating that mess that y'all be doing out here. And that's a big problem. And then you wonder why guys won't wife you up because you don't come off as the kind of woman who know what you want other than trying to get a bag. You do what you want to do to get a bag, but you won't do any what you need to do to, to, to secure a real career and future for yourself and your, and, and, you know, you know what I'm saying? And your family. You won't. Now you won't do it. You're just too lazy. Guys don't want to do with your attitudes, your mentality, the way you're out there, uh, you know, jiggling and wiggling around. Guys. And then wondering why they want they, they don't want to wife you up. I don't blame them. You know? And then y'all uh, and then y'all get some of y'all older women get nervous. Oh, they're about to put a video about about freak they're going all the way back to the A's. They should. That's gonna expose you. Yep. I'm gonna take pa uh, a purpose of path passport brothers. Uh, uh, meaning to another level because y'all want to go out there and get and, and, and do all that stuff with no morals, no moral compasses about anything, just do it, and that's it without care in the world. But don't want to be called out for it, though. Mm hmm. But you need to be. Bottom line is, folks, um. Y'all sisters today either need to get it together or look stupid and not and just be and, and be just just be alone. 
Marry before you carry is what they say. You know? We know some of y'all wise, I don't know what, but why you got to be wise to a point where you just start getting plucked, by, getting plucked by guys by putting babies in you all the time? <clears throat> and then you'd be alone by yourself with five, six, seven, eight kids out of control. Would you rather have it the other way around? Nah. Because the uh, Me Too movement and the, the women's lips is going to tell you, no, nah, you can be bad all by yourself. You don't need no man. Uh -huh. So much for that. Because that theory was completely tossed out the window decades ago. <laughs> it, hey, look. This is the kind of stuff my man, uh, the late, great David Carey's talk about. He talked about stuff like this, too. But now I know why he laughed at the end of the video. Because he was right. This shit's funny. It's funny. And you know why it's funny? Because y'all ain't got some of y'all mostly, a lot, many of you don't have no sense. You don't use any common sense when it comes to uh, making wise choices. You know, you don't. But then you won't blame every other school. Oh, I have a day in my life. You know, my mama didn't teach me and all the other. I don't want to hear it. Plain out common sense will tell you. You know, if you have kids, you want to pay for them kids. You got to work uh, to have kids. You know, you got to have a career to even have kids and maintain a house. A decent house. So it's just common sense. You know, bottom line. Bottom line. And understand why our guys like the passport bros out here uh, meeting other women. You have to understand and use common sense as to why they're doing what they're doing. And you know what? I don't blame them. On that note, I'm out.